start here with blood flow and as you'll remember red represents oxygenated blood flow blue represents deoxygenated blood flow so what's happening here is oxygenated blood is coming down the aorta this is the abdominal aorta at this point branches off into the renal artery in red which goes into the kidney this is the fibrous capsule that you see on this side Obviously on this side here is more of a sectional view. But that blood gets processed, cleaned out essentially, and comes back on the renal vein and then goes up the inferior vena cava. So you'd actually see the same thing on the right side over here. This would be abdominal aorta. Can't see it so well, but underneath here there is a red renal artery. Blood flow goes through here. And the renal vein comes back. This would be the right renal vein. And then that, that filtered blood, but deoxygenated now, goes up the inferior vena cava. If you follow the uh, aorta the rest of the way down here, so descending aorta, you'll see it branch into the iliac arteries. Remember, this is an anterior view. So coming off this side would be the left iliac. This would be the right iliac artery. And then of course coming back would be the left iliac vein, right iliac vein, leading into inferior vena cava. Now when we look at the kidneys themselves, um, it looks just like a kidney bean, right? This indentation right here is called the hilus. The hilus is where blood flow goes in and out and the urine output is gonna come out on something called the ureter. So on this side, we have the kidney. You can see the adrenal gland or the suprarenal gland paired on top of each of these. If we look at this side here in the sectional view, you can see an outer cortex. That's this outer region here. You can see an inner medulla the medullary cavity is the, the deeper portion of the tissue. And within that medulla, you can see the pyramids. These are pyramids. Some of these have been sectioned off. So you can see the calyces. And the calyces are going to lead to this renal pelvis. That renal pelvis will then take urine down the ureter. So this would be the right ureter. Paired over here would be the left ureter down to the urinary bladder. Urinary bladder is a distensible tissue. That means it has the ability to expand and contract. So this is what happens when our bladder fills up and then we empty our bladder when we go to the bathroom. And um, inside here, you can see this triangular structure called the trigon. From there, the urethra leads down and out to the body. Uh, this is actually the prostate gland right here. It's, again, sectional view, but this is the prostate gland. So in the male anatomy, which this is a male model because the prostate gland, we have something called the prosthetic urethra. If I bring this one closer for a better view, if we look at the sectional kidney here on the right, you can see the outer cortex. You can see the inner medulla. And in this medullary region, we have pyramids. We have the calyces that those pyramids lead into. And then we have the renal pelvis. From the renal pelvis, urine will then travel out the ureter. And again, on this side, we're looking at the right ureter. If we follow that all the way down, we get to the urinary bladder. And again, this is the bladder. You can see the trigon here. 
you can see the prosthetic urethra that passes through the prostate gland.